Welcome to Speed Bump Garage. My name is Kent, and if this is your first time here, welcome. I am a collector of things. As you can see, got some old trucks back there, old trucks back there, Volkswagens, Jeeps. What I'm most proud of at the time, I am the proud owner of a school bus. I purchased this school bus at an auction, which we've got a few videos from the auction, and getting the bus home let me tell you, I have went way down the schooly RV conversion rabbit hole in the last week. I had no idea that this community even existed. I don't know that it's the best financial choice to do with this bus, but I think we're going to make it a schooly. I've been pretty busy over the last few weeks since I bought the bus working on a pickup that I also bought at the auction. But my son and my wife have gotten a pretty good start on the bus so far. This is actually the bus that my children rode to school. It was retired after the 2021-22 school year, so it was not used this year. It's been sitting for a year, had some dead batteries. It seems to be super mechanically sound. I drove it home, if you saw that video. I'll link it below in case you guys wanna check that out. Jack power washed all the lettering and reflective stuff off this side. which seemed to work really well. He made quick work of it, got it all done. And he did that in the afternoon. I pulled up here in the evening to put the tools up and I noticed we had reflective trash all over the place and it just looked awful. We spent quite a bit of time with a shop vac and just picking up that stuff out here because I don't, that stuff will be here forever. It's like plastic, it won't decompose. Turned out that was a bad idea. We probably should have thought about that before we got started. So on this side, he used a heat gun. The heat gun seemed to take just a little bit longer but you tore the reflective stuff off in full strips. Probably would recommend the heat gun rather than the power washer just so you don't have reflective trash on your driveway or wherever you're doing it forever. To be legal in Oklahoma, we found out that it cannot be yellow anymore. The bus has got to be a different color for personal use in Oklahoma. That's kind of bad news. That's a lot of yellow to cover up. Don't really have a plan on that yet, but you can see he even pulled the school bus badge off the top. He did an excellent job. This is my youngest son, AJ. Now, they got out here. The first thing they did to it after we drove it home was they pulled the seats, obviously. I think this is a 53 passenger bus. The seats actually had, were through bolted. We were gonna get started pulling the seats out of the bus today, and I just discovered that these have nuts on the bottom side. So some of them may turn loose but I think on most of them, you're gonna have to have somebody under the bus holding a wrench back up on the nuts. All right, you're almost there, keep going. All right, you got it. This little teamwork won't handle. Oh, this one's like a really long one. Yeah, but- That's why. Here, AJ. <laughs> Ow, this one Mom's inside. running the impact on the inside. <laughs> Jack's crawling around under it. Yeah, they just got done zipping it out of there, huh? All right, guys, that's one seat down. A lot to go. 35 no, to mama. go. <laughs> yeah. Mama. Um. Jack had to crawl under the bus with Crystal, my wife, inside with the impact. It took him a long time. Jack and Crystal got all the inside bolts out. Now we're working on the outside. I mean, they are working on the outside. How do you do this, Jack? Well, there's a nut and a bolt going through these and it's kind of hard and it bolts this flange we had the impact with the big old i got the big extension that they're basically forcing down in there and to then, get the top is there a nut on the bottom or top yeah there's a nut on the bottom and i'm getting under there with my wrench so kind of another two-person job you got one guy up here running the impact or one one mama Girl. <laughs> and then jack's underneath the seats taking the nuts off you guys are doing a great job and i'm woody's helping 
Um, my brother wondered how much money they had in these seats. Yeah, we'll, we'll keep a running total on the screen of change you find. So Jack, keep track of it. Okay. They did get them all out and they are piled up behind the bus. A lot of seats. It's a whole lot of seats. We don't really know what we're doing with the seats yet. Probably going to the recycler. You might keep a few of them around. Yesterday, pulled the captain's chair out of it, unhooked the heating lines. We thought we would just leave it like that and just... Just drive it standing up. I've also got to get back on that truck today to try to get it sold so we have more funds for this project. So Jack will give us a quick how-to on how he's been pulling this floor, because I haven't been here at all. It doesn't sound like much, but Jack's got a lot of time in it. Oh. Stripping the floor and pulling the decals. Super proud of him getting out here and taking the initiative to make this project happen. Him and AJ, after we got the seats out of it, actually scootered in here a little bit. I'll give you guys a quick clip of that. Nailed it. Heck yeah. My turn. Let's see what you got, AJ. Last time. Don't zoom out that back door. This was a workout. That's probably... Oh, that's all the screws from the trim that used to hold the floor down. That yeah. is a lot of screws, buddy. Yeah. We got Jack out here now. He's still working on getting the heater all the way out of here. I did just cut the wires. I'm probably going to end up removing these wires back to the fuse panel if we don't end up needing that, but there's a possibility we'll reinstall that. So I labeled everything, cut the supply and return line, and made a loop because I think the heater right here uses that same cooling loop. Not positive about that. If you know more about this and I just made a mistake, let me know. The mistake I'm thinking I possibly made is it has a little auxiliary pump in that line. I'm hoping that this is on the pressure side of the engine coolant. We'll just have to test it and see. I did label all these wires in case we end up reinstalling it. I'm gonna go ahead and throw a little heat shrink on the end of each line and then I'll tuck it back in there. The heat shrink will just prevent us from arcing around up on the hot legs of this. Keep us from blowing fuses and possibly starting a fire, but I have these little pre-cut heat shrink tubes. We'll slide them on. You could use tape for this too, but I'm a pretty big fan of the shrink tubes. like that. That should prevent us from having any issues with these wires. Now that our project manager's out here, we can, <laughs> we can figure out for sure what we're doing today. First, I thought I'd show you guys all the money that we found here. What's our total? Quarter, $3.49.59.60.61. cents. $4? Yeah, three dollars and sixty-one cents. <laughs> so what is the total? Three dollars and sixty-one cents. Okay, three dollars and sixty-one cents. Right off the top of this investment. What are you wanting to accomplish today on the bus? Take this side of the rubber out. Jack and AJ have already pulled all the rubber on this side. What's the process here that works best? What have you tried and what's worked best? All right, so I've tried heat and that didn't really help. I've just been pulling up and then trying to get this DeWalt, what is it, scraper? Oh, that's called a multi-tool. You can put little bits on here and this is just the scraper bit. You can buy cutter blades. This is just your general purpose scraper. <laughs> What happened when you added heat to it? Didn't it make it easier? No, I just made it hot. <laughs> Have you been doing this too? Yes. So usually my brother owns this machine, but um, I think in this video I should own the machine. I don't know why I'm out here. It's like you guys have this covered. Yeah, but we should. <laughs> Well, that looks like a pretty straightforward process. And 
Before we do that, Jack, do you want to talk about floor plan ideas? Yeah. I'm like I said, Jack's going to be our project manager on this. This is my wife, Crystal. Hi. She's the assistant manager. <laughs> AJ and I, we're just the help. Yeah. We're the hired hands. So what I was thinking, I don't oh, know. Oh, by the way, we did just have a little lunch break in here. <laughs> this is our family project. I don't know if we'll end up doing this, but I, what I really like, I saw a video somebody where they had a shower right here and then their toilet was on top of this and then you come up on here walk over and this is the master bedroom so master bedroom here and i think most generally you'll see a main hallway through here jack's thinking possibly hallway here that would put the toilet here which would make it difficult to dump the toilet into the black tank possibly. I don't know how much clearance we have under that. I guess you could maybe set the toilet right here where it dumps straight there. We'll have to figure that out. But Walk over this into our kitchen and I think we'll have like an L-shaped counter with our sink, refrigerator, um, stove. I want to have a dining table right here that folds down into a bed. A little dinette. I did see a really cool couch. I showed your mom that the back of the couch folded out and then basically your table stowed away behind you. Yeah. You had a couch on each side. And then a couch right here that folds into a bed also and maybe try to build a bunk bed that folds down right here maybe. Possibly. I don't know about headroom. The fold down couch that I saw actually had seat belts built into it. I would rather have a bigger couch here so while you guys are riding on it, while I'm in the captain's chair, while mom's in the captain's chair, <laughs> um, I can visit and somebody yeah. can be sitting here next to me so I'm not up here by myself because I won't be able to really see the people here. Who would you like to see up next to you? I definitely want you right there. <laughs> Me? Yeah. You're the <laughs> Do you approve of that general layout, ma'am? I, I think so. I don't think we need and a stove. No yeah. stove? No Just stove. Just a cooktop? Yeah. Like a black stove? Like the that you can put inside a cabinet and then you just take it out and set it on top of the counter. Oh yeah, I saw one of those in the video. So. And guys, I'll know if we can we can't do this, but on YouTube me and my brother saw a person that had a double decker bus. A double decker? <laughs> yeah. I don't know that we'll do that with this one. Yeah, we could raise it the roof and then just make it upstairs. Are you gonna have your meat and cheese? Yes. Okay. Thank you for lunch. You're welcome. Now, get back to pulling the rubber up. Alright guys, we got all the rubber down, as you can see. Now, we gotta prep for paint or whatever we're gonna do. I just know we gotta get some of this adhesive off. And I think we're gonna try several different wire wheels on grinders. Mom's gonna help. Um, this is her first time running a grinder, so this could be dangerous or interesting. Let's see how this goes. And little kids like me never do this. Wires can fly into your eye or cheek or your leg. It's very dangerous. <laughs> yeah, we're going to be wearing safety glasses and I'm going to wear my welding hood with on grind mode and mom's going to wear clear. All right, let's see how this goes. and everything. Oh yeah? <laughs> Alright 
right guys, we are finally done. And look at that floor. So, I just wanna tell you guys, if you're watching this trying to figure out how to build a schoolie, we really don't know what we're doing, but if you're gonna wire wheel your floor, I recommend putting some box fans up here because that really helped add the like exhaust fans. It pulled a lot of the fumes and dust out of here. And masks. In 95. In 95, so where'd they go? Dad took them, but. They, they know what they are. But we put those on because we were bringing in a lot of dust. I think our next step with the floor is going to be welding the holes and maybe figuring out a coating of paint to put on it because we got some rust back here. And we don't want it to rust anymore. So let's look at this floor a little bit more. <laughs> what do you know likes it? All up here. And up the back, so yeah, we're done. I'm gonna go inside and take a shower, I'm filthy. Well guys, I think that's gonna be it for this video. Man, Crystal and the boys got a lot done on this thing in a short amount of time. I did make a little sketch here of the basic layout of this bus. And I was thinking if any of you guys would like to help us design or give us some ideas for floor layout, you could look at this sketch that I made and maybe shoot me an email at speedbumpgarage at gmail.com. Here's the sketch, and what that's telling you is 128 inches. I only got one hand. 128 inches right there is from the back of the bus to the center of this wheel well. Obviously, 105 inches is to that edge of the wheel well, and 151 inches is right there on the wheel well. That's our main obstacle. Obviously, it's the same on both sides. We are 90 inches wide probably subtract a little bit for insulation on the walls and then we are 23 foot two inches of floor space from the stairs to the back wall and i've got these stairs illustrated on there give you a little screenshot of this drawing here on the screen that'll just give you guys an option if anybody wants to help us design we kind of gave you a brief layout of what we're thinking earlier in the video we are new to this deal, kind of fell into this bus by chance at the auction, and we're gonna be what I've seen referred to as weekend warriors. You see a lot of people in the schoolie community that are actually living in their buses. We will not be living in the bus, but we would like it usable and comfortable for the weekends, kind of an adventure bus. We're just excited to do it. We're just jumping in, trying to make it happen. Any advice, like I said, welcome in the comments. We gotta do something on the floor, some type of coating, insulation. Would love to have your feedback on what you think would be best for that. We got a long ways to go. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is gonna be a big adventure. Make sure you're subscribed and hit that notification bell to follow along. We'll keep making content, not only on the bus, we got all kinds of cool projects around here. Really appreciate you watching. We'll see you on the next video.